I'm Kenneth Mock, the President and CEO of Chimerics in Durham. Uh, we are an antiviral therapeutics company developing drugs to help patients who have serious infections caused uh, by diseases that occur after transplantation. I've been in this business for 30 something years and uh, the way I viewed it is I've been developing drugs that I hope nobody ever has to use, but I hope that if they need it, these drugs are there. Many of the patients who receive stem cell transplants and solid organ transplants develop significant viruses which can kill them and our drug is perhaps the first broad spectrum antiviral agent to attack these very complicating viruses. It's been a good year for Chimerics. Uh, we have seen our drug advance in the clinic, we have seen the interest of the federal government, uh, we have been able to add personnel focused on the clinical development of the drug. I'm actually new to North Carolina and I will tell you I am loving it. Um, it is fabulous being here. There's a fabulous workforce for the pharmaceutical industry. We have great, very talented people who have deep experience in antiviral drug development. The old line used to be getting the players is easy, getting them to play together. That's the hard part. We have people who like to play together. I'm Giles Shi. I'm President and CEO of Bioresource International. We're a biotechnology company that uh, produces enzyme products to help uh, chickens and pigs grow healthier. We, we like to uh, use the concept of kind of the low emission chicken, the, the chicken that absorbs more nutrients, uh, emits less waste, and, and as a result is, uh, l has a less impact on the environment. As we increase the, the food uh, production all around the world to feed a growing population, there needs to be more sustainable ways to grow agriculture, and our product is one of those tools. The enzyme allows the, the chicken to digest their feed better so you can use less uh, protein in the diet so the animal can uh, use the enzyme to absorb more nutrients. Oh yeah, so we have a, a, a lot of uh, chicken paraphernalia. Every time we travel, um, any of us, uh, we're always looking for you know, unique chicken um, dolls or figurines or pictures and um, we have quite a collection now. It's a great adventure and I'm glad to, to be a part of that and, and to be able to see the, the company from you know inception to where we are now and look forward to uh, I think the best days of BR are ahead. I'm Brandon Conover with uh, Bennett Aerospace. I'm a senior research engineer and currently we're focused on uh, technical R&D for the Department of Defense. We started uh, with the SBIR program, and that is a uh, federal program that provides contract and small amounts of seed money for companies such as ours to get started with uh, different technologies. We've learned that we can train insects to respond to different smells. Insects can very accurately detect the presence of bed bugs, even more so than dogs can. The detection of uh, tuberculosis in, in humans, uh, the detection of malaria in its early stage, and uh, all of these are brought about by relatively a inexpensive technology. We spent a lot of time to develop a community uh, in which ideas can flow freely and in which everybody uh, has a voice and has an opinion. That's one of the areas that our company excels is finding uh, technologies that are used for uh, solution A and applying them to another industry. Hi, I'm Jim Petrella, President and Chief Executive Officer of Bioagilytics Labs. We're a contract bioanalytical laboratory and we provide scientific services to companies that are developing novel medications and uh, agricultural companies who are developing uh, new types of plants uh, for introduction into the market. It's a culture where we have really just three operating principles and they all start with action, acting with integrity, acting with a sense of urgency and acting with attention to detail. We had to have people with the right skill set but also the people with the right attitude and so a lot of people who are coming from biotech and pharma um, aren't used to operating uh, in a service-based business where they have to operate on time and on budget. We were very conscious and still are that we're not trying to be all things to all people and so we're focusing on a couple of main areas um, where there aren't a lot of labs that ha provide high quality uh, science uh, the way that we do and uh, we're particularly proud of that. 
I'm Steve McPhail. I'm the president and CEO of Expression Analysis. Expression Analysis was founded in 2001 um, to support the requirements of pharmaceutical companies and biotechnology companies and clinical trials providing regulatory compliance genomic services. Well, we hope that the long-term impact will be creating um, the right medicines for the right patients um, at the right time. Uh, more recently, the technology has moved to DNA sequencing. Um, so we have been an early adopter of a variety of very interesting technologies that we believe provide our clients um, with a competitive edge in what they're seeking to do. The Leave Your Fingerprint on the Cure campaign is a fundraiser. We've raised in excess of $80,000 um, thus far in this campaign. We have um, blank canvases uh, and we get people to paint um, on the canvases. And for every flower, every butterfly that they paint, um, we donate um, anywhere from $10 to $50 in their name um, to a local children's hospital um, to support uh, the Cure Kids Cancer campaign.